Hello everyone, as promised, uh, just a very quick update from me telling you about our plans for coming out of lockdown as a church. Um, so uh, I've been looking over to America just recently just to see how things have been going for them coming out of lockdown. Obviously, they're a little bit ahead of us. Um, they've probably, I think most would argue that they've come out of lockdown a little bit too quickly and a bit too soon. Uh, there's In the description field of this video, there's a link to a New York Times article about how that's gone really badly for some churches in America. We do not want to be that church that is the cause of a spike in this disease in Stoke-on-Trent. Um, that would be terrible, terrible for our witness. Um, so, but on the other hand, we do want to make the most of what appears to be a bit of a lull in this uh, disease as well. Um, and many of us, or most of us, I think, are pretty desperate just to see each other again. Um, so we want to handle this well and wisely and uh, faithfully to what the government have, have said we can do. So the process is this. Um, we, we are planning to have our church building available for small groups to use uh, from the beginning of August. Uh, we're doing lots of risk assessments at the moment and trying to put some plans in place. Group leaders will have to take uh, particular responsibility for working their way through a list of instructions, basically, about cleaning and opening and closing and entering the building, leaving and where to put chairs, that sort of thing. That will all follow, okay? But the building will be available for small groups to use in August. In addition to that, uh, we want to have the building available on Sunday mornings for people to sit and watch our YouTube services together in the church building. Uh, so instead of just your household, instead of even having two households coming together, which we really encourage you to do if you can, uh, this would be an opportunity for maybe 20 people to come together and watch the, the service together uh, and bring your own cup of tea and a biscuit or whatever um, and just have a little bit of, albeit fairly limited, fellowship um, uh, at the church building. So that's from August, small groups and watching the YouTube service in the building in August. From September, we're aiming to have some kind of live service uh, in the building. Um, now that won't be for everybody because we can't, we just can't fit everybody in. Um, uh, we're only going to do one service on a Sunday in September, uh, and we're not quite sure whether that will be how that's going to work in terms of booking, whether we're going to do it through home groups or some kind of booking system. We're not quite sure yet. Um, uh, you'll hear more about it near the time. Um, but when that does happen, uh, we are still absolutely going to put stuff out on, on YouTube um, because most people won't be able to be in the building. Uh, it will be a limited number available in the building. So we will absolutely be putting stuff out on YouTube. So if you are relying on that, if you're of poor health, if you're over 70, if you're shielding or just being very careful, um, that's absolutely fine. Things will carry on for you exactly the same. We're not going to take away the online stuff by any means. Um, but we are adding to that uh, both a little bit in August and mostly in September. Okay, I hope that's a bit of good news for you. I know some of you would like us to do more. Probably some of you are thinking, well, there's no way I'm going to go to that anyway. That's fine. Um, I'm sorry, we just have to bear with one another with, uh, you know, what our preferences might be. We're, we're doing our best and trying to do it well. Uh, God bless you. Oh, one other thing. A couple of things you could help with, maybe. Uh, we do need some help getting some scaffolding. Uh, please don't groan. Uh, we need some help getting some scaffolding from the cellar, getting it set up in the entrance lobby. Um, we're ready to, to knock the wall through for the new glass uh, area, the new glass extension uh, lobby area. So we need the, the scaffolding brought up and assembled. If you can help with that, please get in touch with Howard. Um, and also, the main hall could do with a really good clean as well. Uh, yeah, there's just a lot of dust in the building at the moment from, from the present building work. So if you can help with scaffolding or cleaning, could you please get in touch with Howard? God bless you. Take care. Bye.